Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> ah, yes. The flower festival. The event of the year. Everyone. Hi, Berrykin Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> as usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh no, you can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You could win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, Growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, oh wow! Well, yeah. 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 Good job! Yeah. Yeah. Lemon! Huh? Oh, uh, what? It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. <laughs> Good night. See you in the morning. <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Blue. How are you? <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh, uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His garden is right next to mine. That's true. Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. 
Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrack and Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Moraine? M m m m more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrack and Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them, and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe he's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much, just like you care about your violets. <sighs> That's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. <laughs> Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone. Barrack and Bloom, did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> My garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses, they... <laughs> they disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barrack and Bloom, I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls, what did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay, if someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah, no tracks except ours. Now, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? <laughs> asleep? Mm, me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh-ha! Yeah. Violet petal salad, huh? 
Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious violets. Lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. <laughs> the thief. Not to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Look at this! What? what? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over... There! Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. Gonna do. You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. <sighs> Hand over that violet. Yo, what? Oh, what's happening? Oh my. it wasn't another flower heist. Next year, let's have a ceramics festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to hum. Huh? Oh, no! Calm, calm, everyone, please! It is 
something under the ground. <gasps> it's over there! That's where the garden is! Come on! Look! More Bear Can Bloom's roses are missing! Oh, he'll be so upset! I've calculated that three of mine are gone. Two left here. Good thing I moved my best violet inside. There's only four violet plants left out here. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking the missing flowers and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How, how did... The... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! Oh! Grab it! Look! Taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <sighs> Don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about a lot? <laughs> Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. <laughs> Our sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. <laughs> Lemon, you're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Blue? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Blue, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, you see... I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart, 
Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barricade Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Berry Bitty City. The first prize goes to... Lemon Moran! Yeah! Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Barry Can Bloom's idea. History, the world's first rainbow smoothie. Here goes. <sighs> Congratulations, Strawberry. Wait, something's missing. <gasps> I forgot my very favorite flavor, strawberry. Okay, quick, quick. Gotta make a strawberry smoothie fast. What? This is supposed to be strawberry. Lemon? This isn't the lemon spout. Isn't that the orange spout? Hmm. This is orange flavored, but it's the wrong color. What's going on? What flavor is that? Kiwi? Honeydew? Spinach? Uh-oh. I'm running out of time. Look! Oh, no! Oh, well. <sighs> I wonder what's wrong with these juice spouts. Maybe something's up at the Berry Works. Princess Berrykin, what's causing all this? Oh! <sighs> Him. Sparkles are the best. Hi! <laughs> Hi. But I thought your berry sparkles only worked on berries. His sparkles work on everything. We've never seen anything like it. The 
harvest is just one day away. If he does tomorrow what he's doing today, what could happen? Oh my, I don't want to say. Uh-oh. Just like at the cafe. Oh, no one will know which flavor of berry juice is which. What if I was to baby berry can sit for a day? <laughs> hmm. That would be a big help. It would save the harvest. But I couldn't ask. Such a large task. I'd be happy to, Princess Berrykin. Yeah! Good idea! He's so cute! That'd be fun! We'll all babysit him. <laughs> that is, if we can catch him. I would be ever so grateful. It's my pleasure. Looks like our work's cut out for us, girls. What's the plan? Chase him till he's so sleepy he takes a nap? Yell ice cream, and when he comes up to get it, grab him? Hmm. Separate and encircle. Yeah! It's okay? Ask? Uh-huh. That's when you want to do something and you ask how somebody feels about it. <laughs> huh? I feel it would be fine. Baby Barrican might learn a thing or two if he was to spend the day with you. Day with Strawberry! Day with Strawberry! <laughs> All right, then. What do you say to Strawberry? Take you, Strawberry! You're very... world. It should be no problem babysitting. He's such a darling. <laughs> Baby Berrykin, did you change the color of this water? Baby Berrykin? Bottle. Wait, it 
is baby oil. But the baby oil is supposed to be in a blue bottle. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, Lemon. He must have changed the color of the conditioner bottle. Now how am I supposed to tell what's what? <sighs> Let me rinse your hair again, Plum. Sorry. Baby Berrykin. Now Lemon has to redo Plum's hair. Why? I don't think he understands. Uh oh! <laughs> Better catch him! Mr. Longface, you've just about won! <laughs> well, this would be the first time. <laughs> I think I've finally gotten the hang of my own bitty mini golf course. I must say, this is marvelous fun. <laughs> huh? What's happened to my ball? Disappeared, vanished before my very eyes. Ooh. Oh, here's mine. But somehow it's turned green. <laughs> This is the wrong color. You can't see it. Isn't this strange? <laughs> you there. Did you have something to do with this? Oh, now I've lost it again. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. Looks like our game is ruined. Oh, but I was about to win. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Raspberry? Well, I like it. Great color on you. I like it too. But the other one is very nice as well. <laughs> you want to try it on again? Um, yes, please. Stop! Oh, come back here. Wait for a... Strawberry! What do you think? <laughs> I like this one, too, but... Oh, I just... I just wish I had a bunch more colors to show you. a future in fashion design. Oh, how do you get somebody this young to realize that what they do has an effect on everybody else? Oh, there he is. It was him. Oh, I was this close to a winning round at my miniature golf course. That's it. Your miniature golf course. Can we bring Baby Berrykin to come play? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, 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 but he'll change the balls the wrong colors. Exactly. Let's go. Oh, but... Trust me, Mr. Longface. I think this will work. You'll be doing a great service to Berry Bitty City. Now, 
now, Miss Shortcake, uh, those are the last ungreen golf balls that I have. I know. Thank you for letting us use them. Don't worry. We'll be very careful. Won't we, Baby Berrykin? So, what do you say? Would you like to give it a try? Oh, oh, yes, please. Okay, Baby Berrykin. Try and make your ball go up the ramp through the windmill. Like this. <gasps> Yay, Strawberry! <laughs> Thank you. Now it's your turn. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll have another chance. But first, it's Blueberry's turn. <laughs> oh dear! Oh my! Whatever will I do? What's the matter, Blueberry? I can't play anymore. Why? Because it isn't my ball. My ball is blue. Strawberry, is this yours? Oh, no! It couldn't be mine. Mine already went through. <laughs> My turn! My turn! I'm sorry, Baby Berrykin. But we can't play if we don't know which ball belongs to which player. Oh, sorry, Miss Shortcake. Uh, perhaps another time. <sighs> Come on, Baby Berrykin. We'll find something else to do. Play! I want to play mini golf. Please, Strawberry! Well, the only way we can play is if we know whose ball is whose. Oh, if only there was a way to make the balls go back to the color they used to be. sparkles out of the golf balls, could you do the same with the other things you changed? So everything looks like it was before? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh, and you see, because they're the same color, I can't tell the nice smooth flannel from the itchy burlap until I'm wearing it. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know? Yeah! she's pretty. Oh! No? No. You see, everyone likes different things, and Lemon likes how she looked before you changed her. Oh! Okay! <gasps> <Wow>. <laughs> pretty! <laughs> 
Thank you, baby bearkin. <laughs> You're welcome, lemon. You're the first to try my rainbow smoothie. Now that the right colors match the flavors again, I could finish it. Mmm, pretty and tasty. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's very pretty. Thank you, Swabelly. Oh, the color I want. Well, it's not here. <gasps> I know. Say, can you make this crayon a color that's a little bit more like this one? Uh-uh. Why not? Using belly sparkles to change colors is bad. Oh, baby Barrykin. Your sparkles aren't bad. They're beautiful. It's wonderful. It is? Yes, it is. All you need to do is think before you do it. Think, how will it make other people feel? Strawberry? Yes. What if I don't know? Well, then you ask them. Is it okay? <laughs> Very okay. Oh, pretty. Thank you, Baby Berrykin. You're welcome, Swabelly. 